He's a PhD candidate at the University of Tartu in Estonia. Uh, his educational background is in educational technology and music production. Eric Roden is the CEO of an award-winning educational project called Music Math, currently running in Mexico. His uh, primary research interest involves sustainable and inclusive use of artificial intelligence in education and the complex online teaching setup, which he likes to call uh, multi-layer online systems. So join me as I welcome him speaking on the topic, learning by teaching approach to promote collaboration among students in remote teaching. Thank you. Welcome, Eric. Thank you very much, uh, Stephen, for this warm uh, introduction. Thank you uh, to my colleagues of uh, the Tartu Tech community. Uh, we all make this possible and we all make this possible for the teachers that are joining us. So welcome everyone. Uh, we do hope that you can take uh, some tricks to your ed tech back from what we are going to share. And uh, well, let's start, shall we? Now, for the purpose of these online trainings, uh, uh, we have uh, prepared this EdTech training series. And especially and specifically in my area, I have seven topics that I really like. These topics are highly uh, interrelated. So it's uh, really difficult to focus only on one. So in educational technology, you usually have uh, to deal with uh, two or three or four of these at the same time. Now, because of the time constraint of today, I will only focus on two of those seven topics. So in this case, uh, we're going to focus on pedagogical agents and learning theories. Don't worry about the terminology, pedagogical agents, I will explain it. And, but we need to put some ground in order to uh, see what is the approach that I will share with you in order for you to be able to uh, think and design uh, this in your teaching. So let's prepare the soil. In the learning theories, we are uh, going to base the approach that I'm going to share with you today uh, in the social learning theory. This comes uh, from the mastermind of Albert Bandura. So you can check it, check it. And uh, basically teaching and learning in this social learning theory is a social process. He has uh, the approach is five steps, observation, attention, rotation, reproduction, and motivation. And the main uh, argument behind this is that uh, people learn when they see someone doing something and also by replicating and sharing. Okay, so let's go now a little bit more into what I am going to share with you. The learning by teaching. This is approach that uh, comes from the, the social learning theory. And this is what we are going to explore now. The learning by teaching is actually really, really simple. And the main premise is that teaching something to someone is already a learning experience. Uh, this go way back. So we are going to uh, uh, do a little tour in the, in the history. So they discovered that pe people learn more when they have to teach someone that is going to take an exam than when uh, this person needs to learn in order to pass the exam by him or herself. And this was, uh, this probably is also uh, go way more back in history, but the reference that I am sharing with you is this one, you can check it out. Now let's move a little bit in recent years, 2009, Chase et al, you can look for it. Now, uh, this experiment was actually really, really interesting. Now it's where technology comes in place. 
they design uh, systems. You can imagine the softwares. And they use teachable agents. What is a teachable agent? Uh, you can picture it as an avatar, basically, that the students have uh, the opportunity to teach to. Now, uh, the really interesting thing in this uh, experiment they did is that they separate into groups the students. They use the same system. They use the same system. But the difference is that uh, the only difference was uh, psychological. They tell one group, the control group, you are going to teach uh, this avatar that represents you. And in the experiment, they told the participants, you are going to teach an avatar that, need, that needs to pass a test. And at the end, the results uh, replicate. So the systems were able to also bring this learning by teaching and using uh, this approach to enhance learning. Now, so what is the equation here in the learning by teaching paradigm? Uh, you can have it in, in three ways. Usually they refer to this as you need a teacher and a student, you need a master and an apprentice, you need a tutor and a tutor. In the case of the setting, so you can have fully analog, meaning two students, and you can assign one role and the other. You can have hybrid and fully digital. When I say fully digital, I refer to the systems that I talked earlier uh, of Chase, and you need a pedagogical agent, a digital entity which the student will be interacting with. But now the interesting part here for our training is the hybrid. So you will have the students, dealing with technology, but we won't mess in the artificial intel intelligence part of these systems because what we want to use is WhatsApp. WhatsApp is going to be the tool that we are going to uh, take into our trick, EdTech trick back in order to be able to do the learning by teaching. Okay, let's move a little. So uh, continuing with uh, Chase et al, uh, he came with this prodigy effect. So from learning by uh, teaching, we go a little bit narrow now to the prodigy effect. Uh, the prodigy effect. There are three, three mechanisms. You have to take these mechanisms in consideration when you start to design your instruction. So basically, uh, this is the recipe that you will uh, make sure that you will take full advantage of this and also be aware of the limitations. Okay, let's go to the number one, responsibility. Uh, this, we already talked about it. Basically, people make more effort uh, when they have to teach than learn when they have to teach some, someone else. And the trick here is the caring and bond. Uh, when they deal with digital systems, there is a limitation, a big limitation. Artificial intelligence, uh, socially speaking, is really limited. And that's something that you can take advantage of the full analog situation, meaning real students. So you can experiment here. You can have uh, uh, good friends working in this activity. You can have then what happens if I low I put a low performer student, meaning that uh, has troubles in learning with a high performer that is uh, usually really quickly in, in, uh, in learning. And then you can experiment this, this, uh, these uh, scenarios and then find your best setup. But you have to be really careful about caring and bond. So if you find that the, the sense of responsibility is, uh, it's greater in some setting, then you should go for it. Okay, now the second mechanism, let's go. The second mechanism of the protege effect is the ego protective buffer. Now, this is really the, the pinpoint of the pain point of uh, fully analog. Okay, so when you have digital systems, the pedagogical agent is the one that is taking the failure. So you have the student teaching the agent and the agent is going to have to take the test and pass the exam. If that doesn't happen, 
then because it's actually not the student that it's uh, doing the failure at the, at the exam, then the ego is protected. Uh, protected. That is uh, what they refer to this ego protective buffer. But when you do uh, fully analog, meaning real students, then there is this downside that you have to be really careful or at least aware that uh, the, the tutor and the tutti will not share the same uh, failure uh, treatment. Let's go to the last one of the mechanisms of the protege effect. And this is the recursive feedback. This is really interrelated with the ego protective buffer. So recursive feedback, uh, it's actually really great for the master or the teacher, student, or the, uh, what else was, the tutor. So they start to do metacognition and I will put this in simple words. Uh, they start to reflect about how they are teaching the other student. And by this reflection, they can start to trigger creativity in order to find other ways to explain, other ways to be able to uh, make sure that the tutti is learning. How they can know this? Well, we all teachers know when we explain something to the students and you see the faces like I'm not understanding nothing at all. So they start to understand also these uh, gestures. Now, uh, there is the downside because the one that is learning more here is actually the tutor. And the tutti may uh, may not be grasping as much as a tutor or not be doing as much reflection and metacognition. Okay, so these are the three mechanisms of the protege effect that belongs to the learning by teaching approach. Uh, Stephen, how many minutes we have? So I can share the two examples. Five minutes, excellent. Okay, now, uh, now let's uh, design a little activity with this. So you can see how you can uh, uh, use these with uh, WhatsApp. Okay, so there is one uh, setting. So here we are as teachers, student one, student two and technology is going to be the link between all these now you can go fully analog or you can go a uh, hybrid okay if you go fully analog uh, then this training is not needed you can do it but if you go hybrid then you can assign two t's like this. Oh, sorry. And you can assign tutis here and tutors. Well, sorry for my writing. I'm not the best at this. Now, what you can do using WhatsApp, which will be here, is ask and put in first the student. So student one will make sure that the student five is going to uh, be able to pass the, the, the exam or the quiz or whatever you want to put there. And you are going to be monitoring uh, when you create these WhatsApp groups, uh, their exchange in message. So this is hybrid and fully online. Okay. So uh, this is having two real students and WhatsApp mediating the communication. The other option that you can have, and this is works, uh, this works more with the uh, small kids. I'm teaching elementary and this is amazing. Now you have the teacher and you have the student. So this is a one-to-one -one, uh, interaction. But what you can do is uh, using images an avatar. 
that the teacher that the teacher student need to make sure he's going to pass the, the exam okay now the student has then using whatsapp record mes voice message and the teacher is going to play the agent role so if you you can uh, give feedback and then the student will have to change uh, or find another way to explain and when you as a teacher see that the explanation is done then you can send an image of the avatar saying yeah i passed the exam all of this by using whatsapp so uh, for me i think this is it i will wrap up only by telling you that the journey that we had today is in the social uh, learning theory then we go to the one approach that is based on this that is called learning by teaching and from learning by teaching we are using the protege effect and we have to make sure that uh, we have uh, in consideration these three mechanisms the uh, responsibility the ego protective buffer and also the uh, recursive feedback so i hope you enjoy it and you can try it and thank you very much this is it thank you so much eric that was a nice one uh, interesting to know that uh we can we can achieve much using uh, uh, whatsapp and uh, i really appreciate that uh, information and i believe uh, our people are getting one thing or the other from